Hello all. Every web developer start their web development journey through HTML and CSS. Sometimes HTML and CSS web pages which we built might be lost. We lose their files. But having them or else deploying them would be a great memory, right? And in the same way, building your first web pages and sharing with your uh, friends and family would be, would be so cool. So to help you do that, in this video, I'll be teaching you how to deploy your HTML and CSS web pages. Hello all, I'm Mithun and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, I'll be showing you how to deploy HTML, CSS web pages. HTML, CSS, static web pages, okay? Deploy HTML and CSS web pages. So this is what we'll be learning in today's lecture, okay? I assume that you have some knowledge on HTML and CSS or else you have built some projects on HTML, CSS which you are about to give some life because I assume that deploying is like giving life because you can easily share it with someone, you can create some awareness about uh, the project, okay? So that's the next part. But first, let's see what are the steps we need to have in order to deploy HTML and CSS web pages. So the first thing, let me write the pipeline. We call this as a pipeline because this is a sequence of steps which we follow, which industry standards follow, as well as you need to be aware of so that you can deploy your apps in more easy fashion, in a more sequential fashion, okay? So the first thing what we do is that to deploy something, we need a web page, right? So first we'll be writing some code using HTML and CSS. So using HTML and CSS, we deploy a code and a code is simply a web page, right? I call this a web page. You can run this into your local machines by simply opening the HTML file or else using some VS code extensions like a live server or else live preview and there are a lot more options. But our intention is not to visualize our website only into our systems, right? I want the same web page running on my mobile, running on my family's devices, or else my friend's devices, or else my recruiter devices. So that's the main intention. So let's do this. So first, our web page, we must first push that to GitHub. So the first step is that pushing to GitHub. Okay? So this is the first step. Why you must push the code to GitHub? GitHub has a concept called as repository which is simply a folder on the web to host something you must keep the files uh, on the internet right so we'll be storing that in github and it has a lot more advantages like you can control the versions it has versioning and there are a lot more facilities but just assume that you are exporting your files from your machine to internet that's it okay github is a different scenario but as of now just assume this okay you have your files on github now next what we'll be doing is that we'll be linking github to different platforms okay platforms in two ways first is the direct way and next is the indirect way okay so first github offers the direct way called github pages okay will be it is directly linked right so there you are not installing or else you are not giving access to someone so that's what i call as direct way of uh, deploying using github pages okay and next indirectly you will be giving access okay you are giving access directly itself but it's like you are moving out of the platform so we have Vercel and netlify okay so this is what is there okay then these three platforms will be giving us something called as a url okay so what can you do using this url you can again access this web page so this is the complete flow what will be following and what industries also do this okay here you can have different platforms like github bitbucket so there are a lot more platforms and here also there are different platforms i am choosing these because these are easy to set up and free of cost that's the main intention okay i hope you have a clear understanding of what we'll be going to do okay so let's get started so uh, first i will be creating a simple html css web page okay not that much of a greater complexity one i'll be just creating a simple one i'll be telling html plus css deployment okay okay and here in the body i will just give a h1 tag telling i am happy to deploy happy to deploy my html css web app okay so that's it 
Okay, so this is my web page, but your web page can be of different complexities. No matter what, if you are using HTML, CSS, the process remains the same. Okay, to integrate CSS, what I will be doing is that I will be writing some inline CSS. I don't want to create a different file or else use a style tag, okay, because I go to the minimal way. But if you are using that, not issue at all, you can do that, okay. I will be just writing style and I will be writing color. I will be co uh, giving color somewhat uh, a shade of red, okay and i will be giving a hex code okay i always use hex code and hex code is the most appropriate way because some web browser supports uh, the what we statically code red black blue but some don't support but hex code it has the majority of the support so i use this so the first step is you must test if this website is working properly at least in your local machine or not so for that i will be just opening this with live server okay so first we must check if our website is working properly in our system and next we'll be deploying it okay so this is very cool this is working fine okay next what i will be doing is that we must connect this to github so to connect to github first i must go to github right okay let me open a new tab and i will be writing github okay cool so if you are new to github just create an account at github.com so if you are a web developer, I surely recommend do visit uh, GitHub web page, okay, home page, landing page, whatever you call, observe that they have lot more cool stuff in them, okay, just click on sign up and then it's the routine way and you will be coming, I uh, will be landing into this page and first step is to create a repository, okay, I will be creating a repository and I will tell repository name deployment underscore half html css okay and i'll be making this private you can keep it public okay if you want to if you want this to be public and if someone visits your github profile want to see this site then you can make it public okay and that's it create a repository okay now we have uh, the repository created but we have no files our files is, are in still in our system so first step what you must do is that you must push this code we call this push if you are sending the code from your system to github we call it pull when you are getting the code from github to your system okay so the first thing you must do is git initialize that is git init and one more thing git doesn't come inbuilt with windows okay you must download git download and you will you are good to go in the first link itself okay download for mac linux windows anything okay so once you have git initialized your git Next, you must add all the files. We call this as stashing, means you are adding all the files which are ready to push, ready to go to GitHub, okay? Next, you must commit, okay? Commit minus M, some people tell as message, but this is not the appropriate mini. I will tell first deployment, okay? And next, you must add this, like you must create a link, right? So what I'll be doing is that you must add this remote origin, okay? I am telling that I have a remote folder in the internet and I must add that here, okay? You have added it, next just tell git push origin, git push minus u origin master, okay? Now your code will be successfully transported from your system to internet, okay? If you need more information about uh, these git comments, read their documentations or else there are multiple tutorials on github okay but our intention is not to learn github now or else git now we are just focusing on how to deploy our apps okay now if you reload our file index.html what we have here is here and if you open this the same lines of code what will be written will be here okay now we successfully completed the second step okay so first we wrote our html css code next we tested our web page Next, we transport it to GitHub. Now, we must link it to the flags. First, I will be demonstrating you about GitHub pages, okay? GitHub pages is a hosting facility available inside GitHub itself, okay? So, I will show you how you can avail this. So, first, go to settings, okay? Next, you can see into your left panel, you will be having something called as pages here. Code and automation, you will be having pages, okay? Here, just select the branch, okay? Again, if you want more information about branch, do refer git documentation and click on save, okay? And go to actions. Now your website is ready to deploy. See, pages build and deployment, it is queued. It takes time, okay? I have told you three platforms, GitHub pages, Netlify and Vercel. 
do observe how much time they take okay and out of these three github takes much more time like it takes around a minute to deploy okay so let's wait for that okay so the pages will be built and will be deployed and it gives what would be the endpoint so the endpoint would be a url it gives us an url again if you want to learn more about more about url google that and learn about url url is just a map okay it it gives some text and it will map to your website that's it okay so it is in progress now and it also gives you the time how much seconds did it take to deploy okay have a note on that time because that is also very important see pages build and deploy it is success and it took 50 seconds now where can i get the link go to the same settings go to pages and you can see this your site is live at this link visit site and see here you have now if you copy this you can see that this is my github name and then github.io slash your repository name so this is the format which it follows this is the simplest of all this is the direct approach okay so that's it in the next video let's explore the indirect platforms like netlify and versal okay that's it for today's video i hope you had a great time watching this lecture do subscribe to the channel and like the video drop the comment if you have any suggestions or else if you have any request and i will catch you up in the next one thank you